How you going, Mo? Uh, busy, man. G'day, Mo. <laughs> We're here at Kingsway to check out the launch of the BMW X5, yeah? Yeah. Mo picked us up in this. But have a look at this monster. If you get close enough, I reckon it'll suck you in. Look at, look at the front <laughs> on that. Seriously, it will. That is so aggressive. Uh, not sure why he does. He holds a camera. Oh, and he he Instagrams for you. G'day, hi. Nice no, he knows I'm the guy that eats the food. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. Have a look at this arrangement. I don't know who it's made by. Let's have a quick look. I don't know what it is. Whosoever this is, that's a fantastic arrangement. Okay. So, hello. Oh, you man. I couldn't good, recognize good. you. I know, I look completely different, don't I? <laughs> What's wrong with you? It was going to fall out anyway, so I just helped it. Come on, mate. <laughs> up. Your camera's oh, I'm just ready. Here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can be famous. Yeah. Famous. Oh, well, you're already famous. Have a look. So this one's not very much crowded, so we're gonna have a look at this one in a bit more uh, in depth. I don't know about the wheels. I think all BMWs should be optioned with large wheels. I know they're probably not very comfortable, but man, I don't know. I like the 22 inches better. So the front grill, these are all active grills, so they let the, uh, the air flow in when need be into the intercoolers, I'm guessing. I heard somebody talk about that. There's a lot of drunk people around. <laughs> Well, have a look at this rear tailgate. So, it's a it's a two-part tailgate. So, in the previous generation, you would have seen that the rear you'd have to fold it manually. So this is now all automatic. So that's part one. There is a button somewhere else. Check that out. That is luxury. See, when you buy a BMW. You shouldn't be opening stuff with your hands like that. You should just be pressing buttons. And the best thing, once you've loaded all your stuff in there, you press that and it all falls back. Check that out. That's premium, huh? That's not bad. Thank you, BMW Germany. Let's have a look at the rear. So this is where you can put your coat. You'll find... So there's a coat hanger in the back. There's a coat hanger in the back. That's Would really you believe handy, it? Handy having a coat hanger in the back. It's a, it's it is really good actually. There's even USB ports you can charge your phone in the same process. Is really? This is a coat hanger. You joking? No, it's not actually. This is a device out of Star Wars. So uh, yeah, but you can. <laughs> yeah, you go like this. Look. <laughs> there you go. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. There's always back seat drivers. That's why. This is really really good. We're getting there. Innovation. This is innovation. Shit, there's somebody in there. <laughs> they always display these things with the ski holders up the top because it represents lifestyle, doesn't it? And people like to envision themselves going to the snow because if I bought this car, I'd be going snowboarding and that's where my snowboards would go. And the Catman Do Jacket will be hanging in the back. I'm coming up next to you, Mervyn. Wait for me. Quick, close the doors. <laughs> Boys. Oh, here he is again. <laughs> We've been busted. Come back, where are you going? <laughs> but have a look at this beautiful interior. And you know what? They've really That's done well with it. That's way bigger. That is... So it's got the gesture control and all the other stuff as well. Yeah, it's touchscreen as well, whereas... I think the previous one was not touchscreen. This one is. As you can tell, we have no idea. I'm a barista, and this guy, he just sells and buys and sells businesses. How do you work this? There you go. They've got the um, the wireless charging here, so I should probably grab my phone from there. I don't know. No, there it is. I can see it. Yeah, you this one. I can see a little yeah. logo. There you go. I, think, I like the fact that they've increased the size of the screen. I like the full digital display rather than just the um, just the center part of it with analog dials. This is completely digital. 
which is nice. There's a lot of people waiting for us, but you know what? One thing that I am going to point out, which I think that it's a big, big thank you to BMW, is that they actually changed these grills. They have similar looking grills all the way from the E36 range, and I've seen them all. And now they've changed it. Slight innovation. You know what? They look a lot better. Have a look at this. They look more premium. Before they were just black and they were plastic. I think we're finally in 2018. We've got a cheat sheet here. It's a Pythonic Blue Metallic 8-speed automatic, 6 cylinders, 195 kilowatts, 6.5 seconds, 0 to 100. So those wheels that we saw there, they're 20-inch and they're run flats and they're very expensive to replace because I know that and they cost an arm and a leg. The massive grill. Everybody's going for the massive grill now. And I think this is BMW's interpretation of it. The Mercedes-Benz, the Audi, they've all got excessively large grills. So I think this is probably the definition of what the future BMWs are going to look like. All right. I think that's it. I think we're done for the night. I think we're done here. Thank you very much to BMW Melbourne to let us come to this special event. It was fantastic. Oh,